Hi everyone, another day, another video with Zazu. Yeah, today, like I promised, we are talking about Aldabra tortoise. Yeah, Aldabra tortoise. And Aldabra tortoise is uh, one of the largest species in the world, tortoise species. And uh, these guys are coming from Aldabra Island, which is in Indian Ocean. Uh, as you know, we had uh, before we had uh, like I mean I'm talking about 200 years ago, uh, like we had uh, many giant species of turtles, but unfortunately, the European sailors they hunt them for the meat and uh, drove them to the extinction. So most of the uh, giant species of turtles are already extinct. Uh, this is one of the giant species that survived. Yeah, this one is still a baby, but they will grow really big. They grow up to 200 kilogram, some or more. And the females in this species, Adabra turtles, is a smaller than males. Males are growing uh, a bit bigger. Yeah, these guys are coming from a forest, so in captivity you have to provide for them water and uh, basking area and a height. Yeah, uh, what is the diet like? The diet is 80% uh, fiber greens and 20% fruit. You don't want to overfeed them with fruits. Uh, yeah, just 20% of the diet can uh, be uh, fruits. Yeah, uh, for sexing them, uh, unfortunately this one is still small. You cannot tell uh, what is the sex. Uh, they have to grow up like to 30 centimeter or a little bit bigger. Uh, so for the males, you can see from the curve uh, on the belly, and uh, a longer tail. But at this size, unfortunately, you cannot tell what is the sex like. Yeah, uh, these guys are growing really big. And uh, because they are rare uh, species, they are very expensive. But <laughs> look at the beauty. It's like you are paying for the quality. Uh, you see the legs here? Even though this baby is very small now, you see the legs looks like an elephant leg. It, um, and they need a lot of space to walk and yeah, you have to provide for them a big enclosure because they are growing fast and they're growing big. Uh, yeah, not only the legs looks like elephant, these guys are uh, playing the role of an elephant in the nature as well. That means uh, a lot of other species are depend to the turtles because uh, they open ways like elephants do in the nature. And uh, yeah, they, they are very important to keep balance in the ecosystem. Uh, actually, a lot of plants co-evolved with the with turtles or other uh, animals or insects uh, in order to stay in the ecosystem. like. Uh, uh, in some area, the, the plants, they don't grow their seed on top, uh, but they are growing it uh, beneath, uh, under. They, because the, the turtles are uh, eating the grass on top, the seeds cannot be on top. So they grow their seeds under the place that they cannot reach. Uh, I'm not talking about these species. And uh, you know, uh, the shells is evolving uh, depending on uh, from which area they are coming. Uh, for example, if the food is uh, in higher place, they grow the 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 neck is growing tall, long, or uh, and the upper part of the shell is open so they can reach uh, for higher higher leaves or whatever food they are eating in nature. And uh, for other species, the food is in underground, I mean other locality. This uh, under shell is growing uh, like it's open so they can reach easily for the food underground. Yeah, amazing. Mother nature is amazing. 
yeah uh, that's it about our labras they need a lot of love and uh, they are very shy um, and you see when I touch the hand it's just uh, hiding the head I don't know if it's a male or female but you see it's going inside there they are very shy animal but uh, the more you spend time with them they get used to you and when they grow they used to follow you like cat or dogs in the yard and very cute animals and one more thing the, the way they are eating the, the way they bite at food it's very cute uh, yeah I'm gonna feed this baby and show you how they eat coming There is also a little bit of pumpkin and pallets. This guy, this guy really like the pallet. Feet shy to eat. Aldabra started. Ah, you see the, the pumpkin, they love pumpkin. Good. Yeah, one more thing about Aldabra turtles, uh, you don't want to stre stress your animals. Uh, when you get the, this uh, turtles uh, to your home uh, for the first few days, you don't want to deceive them, give them stress. You just leave them alone, just uh, put the, provide the food and the uh, water dish and the basking area. Uh, because these guys, uh, they are very shy animals, and when uh, if you give them stress, they start to pee and poop on you. So uh, don't do that. Yeah, and uh, they need to walk. They are very active animals. They are very active animals. So now you're going to see how they are eating, and yeah. Yeah, before I forget, uh, if you want to buy a labra turtles or whatever species of animal want to buy just make sure that uh, the animal you are buying is a captive bred uh, buy from uh, breeders or people that you trust uh, that this animal is not wild cut uh, you don't want to disturb this environment more uh, actually we don't want to bring more damage to environment so uh, captive bread is totally fine. Uh, if you go for wild cut animal, they carry a lot of disease, and uh, you don't want to go go through the hassle of a wild cut pets. So you want to buy a tortoise, not only a labra, any other species of tortoise. Just make sure that you buy a captive bread. Yeah. Yeah. And after you bring your animal home, you give some time to your animal to get used to your smell, to, to your home, to the new environment. Then after a few days, after feeding and gaining his trust or her trust, you can start handling your animal. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna cause stress and these guys are very sensitive. And uh, just uh, keep it in mind, you are paying a high amount of money for this beautiful pet you don't want to stress your animal so yeah give it some time to get used to you gain his trust or her trust uh, this animal will get attached to you it's like a cat or dog they will follow you wherever you go in your yard or you can take them out <laughs> not like dog and cat but yeah they follow you wherever you go around the home they are so cute they are so cute yeah that was for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and see you guys next time